So uh, where is our hotel? This here. This way. Take it easy. Take, take it, it easy. easy. Assalamu alaikum and good morning from another destination which is Egypt. You follow me on Instagram, you will know. 5th of March, we come to Shamul Sheikh just for four days. But today I will be showing where we are staying and around areas. People usually say it's not even part of Egypt in some way or another because you don't find any locals. Whoever is working here, they are not from Shamul Sheikh either. So let's go. I am just in front of my hotel. It's called Savoy. Savoy Shamul Sheikh. In Savoy Hotel and Resort in Shamu Sheikh. Very good price. We paid £70 a night in this and it can be fully inclusive, but we did not go for fully exclusive. We just went for breakfast, bed and breakfast, and it was a very good hotel. This is the room view of our hotel. The hotel we are staying is called Savoy and it's in Soho Square. And I'm going to take you to the best view ever which is here. You probably know by now where we are. We are in Sharmul Sheikh. No, we are not the beach and resort holiday people. I know we are not, but we are here for a reason, which I'll be telling you later on in my videos. So, this is our room. It's a nice bathroom. Look at your usuals. The tea coffee area, you get water. And you get the iron and the ironing board in each room by default. So that's the room tour, guys. The reason we are in Sharm el Sheikh is the main reason is we want to go and climb the Mount Sinai, the main main square of Sharm el Sheikh, Soho Square. I'll be showing you around. At the moment, it is dead because it's about half to three o'clock. This square actually opens in the evening. So I will be showing you around what we are doing. We just changed currency in the hotel and we've spoken and booked our tour for the Sinai Mountain, which is going to be tonight. It starts at nine o'clock from our hotel with a pickup. This is the square, all these fountains around which will actually probably be on in the later on in the evening. All the restaurants are closed. We got here at 4 o'clock in the morning to the hotel. So of course, by the time we, we went to sleep, as of we were 5, half 5. And we did not wake up for the breakfast. It looks very small, this place. We will probably explore it and it will look nicer in the evening. Mango passion. And these are Egyptian pound prices. So what is the price to pay? 35 pounds. 35 Egyptian pound. Egyptian pound they call it? To one pound. They have these cakes. <coughs> this is the milkshake we got. 140 Egyptian pounds. Which comes up to 3 pound 80. Which is a bit expensive, isn't it? So how is the taste? Is it any good? Yeah, me. Yeah, me. Yeah, it's nothing special about it. Just a normal type of milkshake. We'll have food first, which is a cappuccino, Lebanese restaurant. The food is here. Pulao apne jaisa lag raha hai, magar I think it's plain pulao with the yogurt. And there are the kebabs and sheesh towel. The highlight of our tour in Shamu Sheikh was the climb of Mount Sinai, where the Prophet Moses received the Ten Commandments by Allah. 
you can watch a separate video on our full experience of climbing the Mount Sinai at night and also the tour of St. Catherine Monastery and I will leave the link in the description box as well as you can click on the right hand side top corner to watch the video. This is our second evening, the same evening after the climb and we went out on Soho Square for some dinner. So it is all the restaurants in one, isn't it? Chinese, Indian, Thai and Egyptian. I can honestly say this was one of the best Indian food I've had actually in a restaurant. Even in the UK, the food is not good. It, it was brilliant. If you are in Shamoshe, do not miss this restaurant and do not miss to try some Indian food in there. You won't be disappointed. This is our day three in Shamushe and we thought while we are here let's go for some water sports which was actually arranged by our hotel as well. You can actually arrange it with some other companies not through the hotel but we got a good price so we just thought we'll just go and have a look what can they offer. So come along and see what we are up to. Oh yes, definitely. <laughs> sunglasses. <laughs> so my new sunglasses as well, isn't it? I want to wait. Yeah. Okay, so I'll hop. Oh my god, it's so nice. <laughs> There's a bubble. <laughs> If you are enjoying my video, please do not forget to like the video and subscribe for more coming from Mashup Travels. Also, do not forget to press the red bell icon button so you are notified every time I upload a video. I upload a video twice a week. Tell Am Diesel. I am. My name is Diesel. Diesel make very very special trek for us. Okay. Look at this. This is the sea. It's not like the car. In the in the sea, don't have a break. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> I will make this speed. Don't touch it. Just it. You know where is our hotel? This here. This way. Take it easy. Take it easy. This cafe is said to be the best place 
to have a sunset with a cup of Egyptian chai or a shisha. So you can go and enjoy the sunset there. Friends, what I have realized, 80% of the people who actually watch my videos are not subscribers. I would be really, really grateful if you could subscribe to my channel if you're a regular viewer. That would really, really help me and it's free. It doesn't cost anything. So please do and go subscribe my channel. Thank you. Stay tuned as the video hasn't finished yet. There's more to come and see in this video. Old city banana parna old city is not old old is it? They're just named and styled it to be old city. That's a beautiful place, you know? You can sit there and Paris baby ka aa gaya hai they have the Pakistani lemons there, Jaff. They have the Pakistani lemons. Oh. It's with the mussel itself, like this, and you get white sauce. Not bad, you know. It tastes nice. Nice. This rice, pineapple rice, and all that is gonna be proper grilled. I like the way they've done it. Another beautiful spot in Shamoshe, which is situated in the old city. This little cafe is another vibe to have your chai, coffee, or any of the desserts and have a full view of the old city of Shamoshe. This was our last day in Shamoshe. We thought we can do some other activities, so we decided to go for um, reef viewing. This consists of you going in a boat which have a glass floor and you will be able to view everything under the seabed which will be like 
all the reefs and colorful fish it's mainly for people who can't do snorkeling snorkeling is another activity you can do while you are in Sharm el Sheikh but we were not able to do that because we don't swim or dive or anything and we were a bit scared of it so yeah this was the alternative we did and we really really enjoyed it